What's up YouTube with me and our hair games on their YouTube tutorial and today I just wanted to show you guys something really interesting It's a little device. I just got the variable ND filter and I just thought I should take a little time to just show you guys how awesome this little device is and how you can take your video from zero to a hundred percent as a filmmaker I think this is one major tool you should have in your in your camera bag very 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 important remember last time I did a video about frame rate and shutter speed this is going to be referring to that video so if you have not watched that video I think you should check the link in my description below and watch that video first and then you can come back and watch how to use the very end the filter to get the right frame rate but without wasting so much of our time, let us get straight into the video. So basically, I went out to do like a little short video about sports showing um actually sports has to do with speed and all so you have to be facing the right frame rate and the right shutter speed and without this device it's going to be very difficult for you to get the right frame rate and shutter speed especially when there's a lot of exposure when you're chasing in daylight they can actually get get away with it at night because um there's there's less life to to struggle with but when the sun is really really intense you have to struggle a lot to balance that exposure and the only way to get the right exposure is to use the very well ND filter to cut the light so basically i'm going to be showing you um a video without the very well ND filter and i'll be showing you a video with the very well ND filter so you can see the difference yourself and see what you're missing out without the very well ND filter so i hope you enjoy the video and i'll see you right after this difference between the very end of it and without the very end of it with the very end of it i'm able to shoot shutter speed of one over 50 which gives me enough motion blur in my in my videos to, for for it to look realistic to the human eye but without the very end of it i have to crank up my shutter speed really really high which takes out that motion blur for my images because to shoot at 50 you have to compensate with shutter speed to get the right exposure so i hope you get a very well inhibitor for your kids very very important i recommended it telling where i said so and see you in the next video 